The 2015-16 basketball season will never be forgotten in the city of Lima. Hello, welcome to this special report on WOSN alongside Matt Finkel. I'm Mark Koontz as the city of Lima celebrates not one, not two, but three basketball teams that played for state titles. That's right. LCC claiming the state championship in Division Three. Lima senior finishing up as the runners up in Division One, And then we have the Allen County Sharks claiming gold in the Special Olympics. If you didn't get to Columbus to see the two high school teams play, a great opportunity for the city of Lima to come honor these high school athletes who, like as you said, gave the city something they will never forget. Sharks also winning their state title in the city of Columbus. Let's go inside now to the Civic Center and the ceremony. And welcome to our community celebration, honoring incredible accomplishments of three Lima teams, not only from their accomplishments this past winter, but this past weekend. Champions of Lima, together as one. And we celebrate them and us tonight with this community celebration. I'm Vince Coza from Children's Media Group, Coza in the morning. Proud to be here tonight for this great night. And let us begin. Everybody stand. Gentlemen, remove your hats. And the LCC Pep Band will begin our festivities with the national anthem.
Thank you, LCC Pet Band. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you. You know, I'm not from Lima. I came to Lima in 1980. But I call Lima my home. This is my hometown. I was married in Lima. My daughters were born in Lima. I love Lima. Proud to be from Lima. There's negativity out there in our world that surrounds us. We have to stand together as one. We have negativity within our community. We have to stand together as one. And tonight we are one. One Lima celebrating three incredible basketball teams. And let us begin with the Allen County Sharks. Lima Proud, let's introduce the co-coaches of the Sharks, John Wade and Adam Stolle. Gentlemen, come on up. So thank you everybody for being here. On behalf of the Sharks, I want to uh, thank Mayor Berger for letting this happen and, and making us uh, come together as a community, which we are a community. And uh, so I'm grateful to Mayor Berger, uh, also to Vince Coza for being the MC tonight. I'm grateful for you guys being here and coming out and showing your pride for the Sharks, the Spartans, and the T-Birds. It does my heart really good, so thank you very much. I also want to take a minute and thank a few people that are uh, instrumental in making this happen. Uh, without this first person, our local coordinator, Stacy Krause, who, Stacy, please do me a favor and uh, stand up, actually. Will you, Stacy? In our first year of making this happen, uh, Stacy made our job real simple. She's, she's a terrific person with a great attitude who, who cares deeply about the Special Olympics, and it showed right from the very start. So we're grateful for her and everybody that she uh, is associated with to make this happen. Also, we couldn't make this happen without the volunteers. The Special Olympics is a 100% volunteer-based organization, and there are so many people. I don't have their names, but they did a terrific job. Again, they made our job easy. They got the kids to the games on time and all the places we had to be. So uh, to all the volunteers, thank you. And for anybody out there who wants to volunteer with us, we welcome you. Thank you for that as well. A couple final comments are simply a thank you and a congratulations to both Coach Simpson and all the Spartans, my alma mater, by the way. Thank you very much. And also to Coach Kill and all the T-Birds for a terrific season. So thank you, guys. We appreciate it. I'm going to introduce Adam Stolle, uh, uh, co-coach here, to introduce the team for us. Thank you. I echo everything that John said, and, and I'll say a quick story here. Uh, John actually dropped the trophy while we were waiting and broke it. So I told my Sharks, we got to go get another one next year. So uh, like John said, I'm going to introduce the team here. So when I call your name, just stand up and be recognized. Uh, first, we got one of the team captains, the power forward, Everett Ward. And then next, the, the heart and soul of our team, shooting guard Ernie Lewis. Yeah. 
the, the, best, the best dress shark as well. So uh, number, uh, number 12, Anton Glenn, our point guard. Our shooting guard, Sean Prestige. Our defensive specialist, Christian Bassett. Our turnover king, no, I'm just joking. Uh, Chad Whited. Forward, Jamie McIntosh. Another forward, Richard Tillman. Our silky smooth three, Joe Brown. Our defensive stopper, Raymond Allen. Power forward, Rodney Green. And last but certainly not least, uh, the heart and soul of our team, Michael Birchfield. And we did have uh, Ray, uh, Rayshon Smith could not make it today, but he was a big part of the team. He was the center. So uh, that's this year's team. And like I said, we're going to try to do it again next year. So thank you all for your support. We look forward to it. One more time for the Allen County Sharks. Up next, the Thunderbirds of Lima Central Catholic. Let's bring up the head coach, Frank Kill, everybody. First off, uh, wow, what a, this is my sidekick, Kenyon. He's my son, so. You know, it truly is a blessing to be in Lima right now to represent these, these three uh, schools, programs, to, to the Sharks, Everett. Man, I've seen you throw a bowling ball. I can't imagine what you do with a basketball. <laughs> That's right. And to the Spartans, congratulations. You know, what, a, what an amazing season at uh, Lima Senior's done. <laughs> I'm still feeling the pain of the 50-52 loss by Xavier, so thanks, X. Um, you know, it's, it's been an amazing season uh, to be able to represent Lyme the way that we did and be able to, to go down to Columbus uh, to bring home some hardware, and, you know, especially the gold after, you know, two years ago being state champions and, and then last year runner-ups. You know, it, it was a long season, uh, but it was a season uh, that I'm truly going to miss. You know, with this senior class, and, and right now I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to start in the back because if I'd started in the front, no one would see the back. So I'm going to start with the, the core of the team, the cheerleaders. So Abby Acero, <laughs> Shelby Jackson, Aja Fisher, Katie Acero, Sammy Stecksholdy, Daylon Gable, Ali Garlock, my wonderful student assistant, Atticus Williams, Aaron Hutchins, MJ, great ball boy. Trey Cobbs, Jay Money, Josh Dixon, Nick Tafflinger, Anthony Venerella, Thomas Williams, another great student assistant, William Garlock. I can't see him back there because he's hiding. Dantez Walton, Ethan O'Connor. Billy Burke, Jamison Bradley, Brendan Stolle, my great manager Salvador Nogueros, Gavin Sargent, Mark Janowski, and Matthew Sakela. All right, you guys can see.
I missed it. All right, I, I did not forget this lady because she's been in this program for the last 13 years. And Jamie Baldoff, we're, we're really going to miss you. So stand up, Jamie. She's our cheerleading coach, so she's one of the best. You know, I can thank a lot of people first and foremost, but I can't, I can't forget who put me here. And, you know, I told Vince that uh, God has blessed me with a lot of good gifts around me, and I'm, I'm only as good as the players that I have. And, and I, I truly, you know, make sure that they take all the credit because that's the only reason why I'm standing up here. If, if uh, guys didn't come to practice, work hard, put the time in, you know, before practice even starts, you know, I can remember – you know, about four years ago, you know, leaving keys on my porch for certain kids. And, and a lot of these kids that I left keys on my porch for to go to the gym and, and to, to get shots up are, are sitting either on this side or behind me, you know, because they, uh, they live in the gym. Um, so, you know, being that I've been put in this position, it's only by the grace of God, and I, and I thank him for that. I thank my family. You know, I know families uh, used around here a lot, and we're all family. Uh, you know, we, we, we cry together, we laugh together, um, you know, we, we hurt together. And, you know, I felt the pain last year as, as we were runners-ups. And I don't think anybody understands what it's like to lose on the biggest stage of a high school career, especially with 15,000 people watching, you know, millions watching online or on TV. And, and when you lose, it, it hurts. It's not a pain that goes away. And I think that's what made this year that much more special because we were able to walk away um, as champions. And I'm so proud of what our community has done. And I think, that, uh, I think that's the reason why we save Lima Senior for last because you have no idea, gentlemen, what you did for this community. Um, you know, where they were. You know, taking over this program from Lima Central Catholic six years ago uh, to, where, to where we're at now is a blessing. But to see where Lima Senior is, Coach Simpson, what you've done for Lima Senior Spartans, is truly, truly uh, going in the right direction. As Vince said, a lot of negative going around with, with violence and shooting and stuff like that. This is a lot, there's a lot of positive going on over here. And, and I think uh, what our kids, what our band, our Sharks are doing for Allen County, for Lima. It's truly a blessing. Thank you. LCC! Spartans of Lima Senior. Let us introduce the head coach of the Spartans, Quincy Simpson, everybody. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's tough for me. <laughs> Definitely want to start off by tipping my hat to um, the Special Olympics and Coach Keel and LCC. <laughs> I 
want to thank Mayor Berger for having this event. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a blessing to be the coach at Lima Senior and to be involved in, in these kids' lives on an everyday basis. Um, being that I was, you know, one of these kids at one point in time, and, you know, a lot of the times I'm still a kid at heart, um, you know, but you know, I am, I, you know, I am still torn uh, heavily by, by the loss of on Saturday. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to see any of my players, you know, taking blame for something that you had no control of. Um, I think there was a situation where, you know, we lost to a great team um, and, and we just kind of ran out of time. Uh, but, you know, you guys have changed <clears throat> the entire dynamics of a community, of a school system, and of a city. So I'm very proud of all of you. You know, it's been a long year, um, but it hasn't been long enough because, you know, we have a senior group um, that, that I've been blessed to be around, you know, including, uh, you know, Jameson, Josh, Dentez, Trey, Nick Taflinger, that, that I've been blessed to be around for many years and to see these guys grow um, physically, mentally, uh, socially, and, and to know that, you know, they're going to be very successful young men at the next level. Um, that's truly a blessing to me, uh, to guys like my brother Warren, Pilot, <clears throat> Pilot Bradley, uh, Radar. Um, you know, it's truly a blessing. So, you know, all these kids have done tremendous things, and I think everyone up here deserves another round of applause. You know, I want to introduce my coaches because, you know, there's an old saying, a head coach is only as good as his assistants. And, you know, me and my assistants, we, we argue and we have battles all the time. And I think that's what it should be. Um, you know, I told my assistants the day that I, that I took this job, I didn't want guys agreeing with everything that I said. You know, we got to have debates that's going to make us grow. So, you know, this is, this is my right-hand guy right here, Brock Howe. You know, Brock, <clears throat> Brock is a guy that, that does all the things that go on scenes from, from scouting reports, uh, designing up, you know, uh, what we should be doing offensively, defensively. So, you know, he, he's definitely right there with me day in and day out. Um, and, I, and I can't thank him enough for his presence and being around to definitely make sure that I'm okay. Uh, my other assistants are Chris Jackson. <laughs> Chris is a guy that's just around the entire program, and, and he does everything that's needed. Doesn't have to tell him to do anything. He, he definitely is a go-getter. He's a guy that coached me uh, coming up, has definitely had a major, a major impact on my life. Um, so I really appreciate the things that Chris has done. Uh, Brian Miller. You know, me and Brian, we grew up together. Um, you know, we graduated together, played football, you know, uh, with, with Milt Butler and the Sharks together. He's my freshman coach, you know, has done a tremendous job with the freshman team. Um, look forward to, to building this thing with him and having us do this thing for, for a long time together. Uh, Zach Rumball. <clears throat> you know, Zach is kind of... <clears throat> kind of what, what our camera guy, Hal, calls him, the rookie coach. Um, you know, he's a guy that when I first started coaching AAU, he played for me in the fourth grade. And, and when I was the JV coach and we were undefeated, he was, definitely had a, a, a big part in that season. And, and he was back and wanted to coach. And it was definitely a blessing to have a guy like him who understands what we're trying to do, a Lima senior guy, come back and help out. Uh, Shondell Walton. Shondell is, uh, you know, one of my middle school coaches at West, but what people don't know, and, and I probably haven't shown my appreciation because he goes to practice, I'm sorry, at South. He goes to practice every day at South, then comes over at high school and helps out. Um, I'm, I ride him very, very hard. I'm always on him, but, you know, I really want him to understand that I really appreciate 
the effort, the time that he takes with a lot of our kids and developing in those guys. And uh, this is our staff. I really appreciate you guys. I want to introduce uh, my manager, Jalinda Houston. She's probably the meanest manager anyone has ever had. Uh, she, she don't have a problem with telling me what to do, where to go, and, but you know, she does her job. I love her to death. Um, our ball boys is uh, Noah, Baby Simpson, and Zion Jackson. <laughs> You want to introduce the players. And now we have the uh, players. We'll start with, I'm not going to take too much time and, and, and say nothing about them all, but all these guys know how I feel about them. You know, we don't have to tell them, we show them. Um, you know, it's going to be a great opportunity to see when, these sen when the senior class graduates and they move on to some bigger things. Uh, but I'm excited about the younger, the younger guys, the underclassmen. Uh, I'm excited for what they're going to be able to bring to the table, too. So, Jaleel King. <laughs> Jarius Ward. <laughs> Titus Schutz. Look at that. Look at that young man's suit right there. That man is clean right there. <laughs> You guys ever seen The Wood, the movie The Wood? Don't he look like one of those guys? <laughs> Marquise Coleman. <laughs> Zanesto Martin. <laughs> Demonte Lyles. <laughs> Rico Stafford. Jay Thomas. Marquavius Wilson. Reuben Flowers, the third. And Xavier Simpson. Again, we appreciate all the support. You know, this, this train is going to continue to ride forward. Uh, you know, it's, it's really exciting for me to receive some text messages earlier today with some of my JV players and freshman players already at the reservoir running hills. So I think these guys have demonstrated what it takes, and it, they're already passing that cycle down to the younger classes. So I'm excited. This is our cheerleading coach, Dar Darlene Austin. She's going to introduce the cheerleaders. Thank you again. Thank you guys for coming. This year was very exciting for the Lima Senior Cheerleaders because Lima Seniors Cheerleaders haven't been much of a team for a long time, and I think we took it serious this year. If you came to our games, we battled them cheerleaders as much as the boys were battling the boys. We tumbled, we jumped, we cheered, so they took it very personal this year. We have Jalissa Austin, <laughs> Janata Luster. Jayshana Long, Skylar Holland, Ayana Long, Sarithia Henderson, Madison Hirsch, and Alex Wall. Thank you. One more time for Lima Senior.
All right, I wish I could take credit for tonight's community celebration, and I may. But it was really the brainchild of our mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, and I told him to keep it short, the mayor of Lima, our great city, Mayor Dave Berger, everybody. Well, good evening. <clears throat> good evening. It's, uh, it is great to be here tonight. Uh, I want to thank um, Walt Klamaski and Ron Williams, um, Jill Ackerman and John Zell, um, cooperation uh, the, uh, in the discussions that we've had over the last several weeks to anticipate success. Uh, was um, was thrilling, and um, tonight, of course, I want to also thank the Civic Center staff, uh, who um, who really worked hard with us to make sure that we were in a place that uh, could hold all of us, and where we could really celebrate in in fine style. You know, um, in 1992, my son Michael was five or six. I, can't remember which, but to this day, to this day, he remembers those teams. And um, he was watching and listening, actually, in San Francisco all weekend, and he was texting me, and um, it was thrilling. Uh, it was absolutely thrilling to, uh, to share with him and others in the family what was happening. Um, and I know that all the five and six-year-olds and everybody else here is going to continue to have a, uh, a memory of the last, of this season and of particularly this, this last couple of weeks in a way that um, uh, will just be indelible for us. And. Um, about a week ago at the Rotary Club, we had the opportunity to spotlight the teams before, um, before they took off to, uh, to Columbus. And I said at that time that win or lose, you make us proud. And, and that is true. It is regardless of winning and losing, you have made us proud to our core. And, uh, and then I also had an opportunity this past week to, uh, to put a little bet out there, which hasn't quite yet been delivered, but the mayor of uh, Wilmington is going to be buying a Cupid feast for um, uh, the Spartans, and the mayor of St. Bernard is going to be buying a Cupid feast for uh, the T-Birds. <clears throat> I think those are the only bets I've ever won in my life. Um, you know, no one had a perfect season, but everyone had a great season. Everyone had an absolutely great season. And um, the thrill of it, I think, is something that um, we just really needed to share with all of you in a way that um, um, we could stand up here and, and just, just kind of bask in it uh, in, the, in the moments following. So, I do think that uh, our community is indeed blessed with uh, uh, athletes who are superior. I also know that our community is blessed with people of quality who um, have invested themselves in these organizations and in these schools uh, to make certain that um, this um, uh, group of young men and women 
in fact, aren't just athletes who succeed, but are men and women of character who, in fact, will make a difference in our community and in the world. And so uh, we, we, do, <clears throat> we do applaud you with all sincerity for what you've done. And we encourage you to live lives of joy, of generosity and character, and making a difference wherever you're at, wherever you are in the world. Seniors from both teams and schools, um, you will be missed. And we love you all. Thanks for being here. Mayor Dave Berger. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for coming out. We are not done yet. What we're going to do is we're going to have the players go out into the lobby and they'll go to their respective tables. And then we want to thank the Lima News for offering a commemorative poster in which kids, kids first, let's have the kids grab the posters and then have them get the autographs from the respective teams. So kids first, if there's anything left over, we'll, we'll take care of the parents. But let's make this about the kids, okay? Kids. The future T-Birds, the future Spartans. All right? One more time, let's stand and applaud Lima Senior, Lima Central Catholic, and the Allen County Sharks. Matt, your final thoughts on what's been a remarkable evening and a remarkable season in Lima. Well, it's great to see the effect that all three teams had on the city and lots of young kids in the audience coming out and that's encouraging to see because now they want to get to this point when they get to high school or you know in the, in the Olympics as well for the Sharks. And Lima Senior really rejuvenated the Spartan community, great Spartan pride throughout. And for LCC, a dominant postseason run that ends with another state title, their second in the last three years. It's really remarkable what the T-Birds have been able to accomplish. You know, it's been said that too often we allow the sadness of the end to overshadow the journey of the, the joy of the journey. And that is certainly something the Lima Senior will never forget, the joy that took them to the state championship game and LCC and the Sharks winning state championships. Thank you for joining us on WOSN for the special presentation.